I need to set up another appointment, but... Okay, let's take a look at what we have. When's a good time to come in? Well, Mondays... Okay, this coming Monday, we have a 3.30 or a 4.15. Do either of those work? No, I have... Okay, we can look at the following Monday. Uh, we have a morning appointment, 9.30. I was gonna say that Mondays and Tuesdays... Oh. Tuesday, we have a few appointment times. Let's see. No, Mondays and Tuesdays don't work for me. I was gonna say that Wednesday. Oh, so Wednesdays will work. Uh, let me just look here. Stop! What I was gonna say is I need an appointment, but I have to check with my work and I'll call you Wednesday. Okay? I'll call you. Oh, well, you could have just said that. Listen, can you hear it? It's the most important thing you'll hear all day. It's the patient speaking. Listening is the element of communication that will allow you to gather important information, help the patient, and provide good service. Listening without interrupting will allow you to provide great service. This educational experience is designed to help you identify ways to treat your patients like stars. Choose the areas from the main menu that are most important to you and your office team members. Follow along with the printable in a wing think books for the meeting leader and participants. They're loaded with fun, useful exercises and tips. If you already incorporate a number of these elements into your daily routine, take a moment to pat yourself on the back. To you, it may seem so obvious that treating people with respect and consideration will make them happier, more willing to return. But if it's common knowledge to everyone, why isn't great patient service, well, common? Show them all respect. Treat your patients with star power. At every opportunity, do things that will put a twinkle in the patient's eye. You'll not only have happier, more loyal patients, but your office will be a more productive, more satisfying place to work.